What's going on? Okay, so really, really quickly, I'm here at work here in New York or whatever, but um, so I want to talk about something really quickly, you know, again, as things happen, as, um, you know, I think of things, I'm starting now to, you know, vlog them or whatever, or at least post them on YouTube and then share them on, on Facebook. So there is, I'm, I'm from South Carolina, for most that don't know. Um, I'm from a little small place called Conway, which is right outside of Myrtle Beach. So when people ask me where I'm from, I usually say Myrtle Beach because that's where you, that's, you know, people know about Myrtle Beach being one of the hot vacation spots. They have the Harley, Harley Bike Week and the Black Bike Week that was really, really famous when I was growing up. Now, not so famous. Um, but anyway, so I, that's where I'm from. You know, um, that's where I lived most of my life um, as a kid. Um, and as a young, um, you know, high schooler, whatever the case may be. And I've traveled all around the world and lived in other countries and things of that nature. But, you know, I would say that um, Conway, that's home, you know. Conway, Myrtle Beach, that's, that's considered my hometown. Well, anyway, so there's a coach. He's been a coach for I don't know how many years. It's a long, 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 long time. I got all these keys, yeah. Um, he's been a coach for a very long time, right? at my high school still is the football coach and he was recently um in the news um for an incident that he had with a student and um so when the um story initially broke or came out you know we didn't know what it was we just know that there was some incident that happened that there was an incident that happened at the school um that's for the investigation which i feel like the news or whatever they the local news shouldn't even say anything. They should, shouldn't have even written an article without giving us some type of, um, you know, leeway or, you know, something telling us what the, the, the situation was surrounding, right? So anyway, moving forward. Then this morning, which today is June 9th. Yeah, so this morning, I see that yesterday he was arrested. And um, it was for assault or whatever. So I don't want to really get into the logistics of what happened or what supposedly happened. Because right now, the story is still being developed, right? Um, but supposedly, he assaulted a child um, or, or, or a kid or whatever the case may be, um, a student. Um, but from what I'm understanding, the, the student is very unruly, does whatever they want to do and was damaging school property and all that the coach was trying to do is kind of like, you know, contain the situation and um, prevent the kid from doing anything more than what he had already done. So I think it's a matter of things just kind of went overboard. However, um, it's, I'm sure it hasn't been on your Facebook because you're not from where I'm from, but I have a lot of people that are from where I'm from uh, as Facebook friends, or they follow me or I follow them or whatever the case may be. And so there's been a lot of talk on my, you know, as I'm going through my news feed, you know, everybody's kind of harping down on this coach. And this coach, I know because when I was going to school, this coach was the coach for our high school team. This coach, um, um, coached my cousin Andre, Karibi Rashid, and Karibi Rashid, Andre, and George, as well as my younger brother, who is about 10 years younger than me, Erskine. All of those guys went on to four-year universities, got degrees, did wonderful um, things on their football team, full football scholarships, all that sort of thing. But then you have those that are now coming at him and saying, oh, Coach Jordan wasn't good. Um, oh, he was never really a, a, a coach. He, um, he never really um, tried to get the guys, I guess trying to say the black guys, out into the schools, into the, the major schools like USC and, you know, um, University of Georgia or whatever the case may be, right? And so I'm saying all that to say this. Like, it, it's been a thing, and it was a conversation today um, that I had on someone's post about the incident that the coach didn't do enough to get the player his just due as it relates to going to these four-year institutions and getting the scholarships and things of that nature, right? Okay. Here's what I have to say about that, which also transforms or transcends into your... 
to your career or or what you want to do in life. I always believe in having a plan. And a lot of times what we have set as our plans may not come into fruition. I get that, you know, but at least try to have one. Try to have some type of roadmap to your success, what you see for yourself. And I understand that as life goes on, we may be bumped off or, you know, the things that we plan for, life just may take us in a different direction. But the core of what we want for ourselves should never be should never be different it should always stay the same you know um but what killed me was somebody was saying like oh you know the coach never sent videos to the team to to these schools to get these guys recruited or whatever so you are we going to leave our career in the hands of someone else who's not even going to benefit from it why am i going to leave no, why am I going to trust someone to do my job? If I know that I'm good at what I do, if I know that um, I'm being highly looked at or I can be an asset to another team or a company or whatever the case may be, if I know that I have talent, it is for me to make sure that the world sees it. It is for me to make sure those coaches see it. It is for me to make sure that those actors or those producers and directors see my work, my talent. It is not, I cannot leave it up to my acting coach. I can't leave it up to my track coach. I can't leave it up to my football coach to get me in the door. When my stats and what I've done and what I've produced so far should be the blueprint, should be the thing that puts me in the door. And how I'm able to make sure that not only my stats speak for themselves, but that I make a conscious effort to create a tape, create some type of kit, a press kit, um, junk, whatever, create something that I'm able to present to them and say, this is me. This is what I've done from, from the last four years in, 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 in high school or in college or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To speak to who I am as a person, who I am as an artist, who I am as a football player, who I, who I am as a track star, who I am as whatever. You know, but so many times we want to leave it in the hands of others to make our dreams come true. While yes, there are people that have that that the powers that be and and have the 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 position to say you're good. That's that you know whatever the case may be. But we have to make the conscious effort to do what is needed in order for us to be seen. And relying on someone else to make that happen is just BS to me. And so I had to kind of make it be known in the post is that we're hooping and hollering about people from the past and oh, they didn't get a fair shake, they didn't get a fair shot. Well, let's think about, did they even want it? Did he even want to become, you know, go to these four-year institutions and, and, and can still continue football, basketball, whatever the case? Did they, did they really want it? Because if you wanted it and you wanted it hard enough, not only am I going, not only am I going to want it, but I'm going to make sure you know I want it. Because with high school and with college, it's not all just about what you can do on that on that field. It's about what you can do off the field, what you can do off the court. And if you're unruly, if you're bad, if you're, um, you know, think you this, that, and the other, but your grades are a mess and not even worthy of getting into even the lowest of a college, do you think I'm going to sit here as a coach? as a mentor, as a whatever, to try to help you get into a college that's, that I already know is going to say, yeah, you got great, got great talent, but you you haven't even passed the SAT. You, I mean, you not even passed it. You haven't even achieved a, a good enough score, a minimal score, to get into this institution. Or you haven't done enough on the ACT to get into this institution. So why am I going to sit here and go go for my best player well, my best player ain't doing is not doing what he's supposed to be doing off of the field. But at the end of the day, you have to take charge of your career, baby. You cannot depend on man. You cannot depend on anyone other than yourself to make sure that you are doing absolutely everything in your power to be seen, to be heard, to be respected, to be appreciated, and to be put on the pedestal that you think you deserve. If you're 
the star football player or the star this or the star that. So having these oppressed minds or living this living in this oppressed mind state that that has to stop. Sometimes you have to reflect back on you and say, am I doing everything possible to make sure that not only am I seen, but that what I do on the outside or off of the field, you know, is worthy enough. So stop blaming everybody else for your shortcomings. Blame yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and blame yourself for the shortcomings and rise above it all. Nobody's going to want anything for you if you don't want it for yourself. That's it. Talk to y'all later.